Well, she certainly has always been a master at transforming herself, but Angelina Jolie goes beyond anything she's ever done before in a new movie called A Mighty Heart. She plays Marianne Pearl, the widow of the journalist who was murdered by Islamic extremists. Early Show National Correspondent Tracy Smith has more. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Yeah, you know the story. Daniel Pearl was kidnapped and executed in Pakistan while on assignment for the Wall Street Journal. His wife was five months pregnant at the time. But you may not know that after his murder, Marianne Pearl and Angelina Jolie became friends. And Brad Pitt's production company had committed to bring a mighty heart to the big screen even before he and Angelina became an item. Danny is missing. He may be able to help me find him, okay? I need the name. I never really believed that I'd be capable of playing her. I, I think when you know somebody and you respect them and you take, you take who they are so seriously. Hello? Coming to you from the home of Daniel Pearl, the journalist who's been kidnapped in Pakistan. When you see it, it's amazing how much you're like her. The French accent, you look like her. I mean, I really think the audience looking at it forgets that they're watching Angelina Jolie. I hope so. What do you that, think was the yeah. key to that, to that transformation? I worked really, really hard at her. I studied every interview she did over and over. I am not desperate because I, I believe that if, uh, if I stop trying to create this dialogue... And try to just go into as much... Um, technical work as possible, probably to help me stay away from the emotional nerves. And if you could say one thing to your husband now, what, what would you tell him? I love you. I focused a lot on how much they loved each other and tried to imagine that that great love and, and what that, uh, that in response to that, the great pain of the loss. A Mighty Heart is dedicated to the Pearl's son, Adam, who's become a playmate of Angelina and Brad's oldest son, Maddox. This film was funny because Mad knows Adam so well, so he kept coming to set and saying, why are you dressing up like Adam's mommy every day? Oh, that's funny. Isn't that funny? And he, he just thought it was... And, I, and then I found myself in a really heavy conversation with him and trying to explain why I'm telling a story about Adam's mommy. And, and in that kind of... And I can only imagine how difficult the conversations she must be having. It's that ability to empathize with others that's key not only to this role, but to her life in general. I am honored to pay tribute to World Refugee Day again with you. Since 2001, Angelina has visited refugee camps worldwide, considering it her job to give a voice to people displaced by war and famine. I know from visiting refugee camps in, in northern Uganda and in Sudan, you feel like you can't do enough. I mean, despite all you do, mm. do you get that feeling that it's, it's never enough? I did. I, I, you know, I, I joked about this before, like my first few years traveling, I just cried. <laughs> was just nonstop? I was just crying. I was just oh. emotional. I couldn't help anybody. I was just, I couldn't. And then I got angry. And then I thought that, that wait a minute, you know, we are all very intelligent people. We have, we have all evolved over the centuries to, to find better ways to, to handle situations. We can handle this. And what is it that, that needs to be changed? So she's lobbied in Washington, and she gives a third of her salary to charity. Angelina uses her celebrity to bring attention to causes that matter, but it's an interesting paradox. One week, she can be among tribal members in a third world country, and the next, there she is, walking the red carpet at a premiere. It seems like you play all these roles. You speak for millions of refugees. You also have to balance the needs of the paparazzi and the celebrity-obsessed public. Um, you're also it's really funny, like refugees and the needs of the paparazzi. And the needs of the public. Yeah. yeah. But it is a weird their balance, needs. right? How, yeah. do you, how do you do that? How do you make sense of all of that? I don't try to. I just, I just honestly, I've lived my life, and I've lived my life uh, to just the, from what I believe in and, and uh, however it's interpreted, I've never understood and can never be responsible for. I just do the best I can to be who I am. Angelina and Brad are now parents to four children, three of whom they adopted abroad. And she says the role she relishes most is that of mother. Speaking of kids, expanding the family, I, I think I heard you recently say, what, seven to 14? <laughs> yeah, we're going to fall somewhere in between. <laughs> right now, we, we just have our fourth child home just a few months, and so we're making sure that he is feeling really centered and at home, and, and at the same time making sure that the other three have our time and our love and our attention. So once we feel like we were able to balance that and have a little room for more, then, then we'll have another one. Add to that balance what could be a busy award season. 
there's already talk of an Oscar nomination. But for now, Angelina wants to focus on Marianne's message. I think one, it's a beautiful movie about love and family and holding on to each other and moving on and, 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 and embracing life. And we have to come from a place of, of openness and tolerance in order to really get through this. Now, will she make more political films? Well, Angelina says not necessarily. She's now working on her next film, which is a thriller that's being shot in Prague, and she actually plays an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> now, there was some kind of controversy about, as the interviews were done for this movie, something about a waiver. Yeah. They wanted people to sign a they waiver. They wanted the media to all sign a waiver that basically said, don't ask any personal questions. Angelina says she has nothing to do with it, that her lawyers were just trying to protect her. We didn't sign it, and right. you saw that she a she answered all of the questions very right. nicely. About She's perfectly and open. Else? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. That yeah. sounded crazy. Uh, and uh, what, so there was a big premiere for this, right? Uh -huh. And there was also a story behind what she wore to the. Yes, yes. I mean, I think is there anything she does dress. that doesn't make news? Uh, yeah, well, of course not. Right. This is Angelina Jolie. Look at that dress. You'd think it's a million bucks, right? Mm -hmm. Twenty-six dollars. Wow. A vintage dress from a little vintage store in L.A. Wow. Of course, she paired it with the Christian Libertin shoes, well, but that, still, that very nice. Work. Make it smoking. Tracy, she would look good in a pillowcase and a couple of pins. Good job. Thanks so much. <laughs>